Butterfly 101 for beginners. So it is very important when I'm in my butterfly that I get my knees together, okay? I want to get my knees together and I want to have my weight over top of my knees, a little bend at my hips. So the reason why I want to have the weight over my knees, because now I'm in an athletic position and I can actually track pucks. If my knees get spread, I lose the reach of my arms, okay? It's really hard on our hips and a lot of young goalies will do this. I see it every day. So one thing to think about when you see me from the side is this is how we should look over top of our knees, okay? I don't want to be here and I most certainly, I see a lot of young kids don't want to be here, okay? I can't control anything. And the biggest thing that we have to think about is it's not about the puck, it's not about us saving the puck. It's about us saving the puck, putting it into spots that clear up chaos, and how I can get on that puck as fast as I possibly can. So again, if this puck shot at my pad here, and I go to butterfly and I'm like this, well, I'm gonna be slow, because I have to pull my knees together before I even rotate. If I have a nice butterfly with my weight over top of my knees, boom, see it, I'm instantly on it, and I'm gone. So this is so, so, so important. Obviously, we're gonna have our hands in front of our body, active hands, okay? So we can make saves in this area. I most certainly, if it's a one-on-one -on -one with a player from far out, I don't wanna just drop my hands. We need to have active hands. Shooters are way too good. If there's a puck through traffic and there's a tip and we need to get tight on it and get forward on it, Maybe it's a different story and I bring my hands in this area fronting this puck. But I don't want to just drop my hands. I need my hands to be active. Okay, shooters are way too good nowadays. I need to track pucks and be all over pucks with my hands, especially in tight. So a couple things also with my upper body. I have my good posture. I don't, I don't want to be rolled shoulders. Like I have my head up. I have my shoulders retracted. And I have a frame up top. I need to be able to fill that net behind us. That is so, so, so important. Now, my flare in my butterfly. So if the puck is around the net, like I'm talking right out in front, then we might want to be a little bit more flared if we can. I've had double hip surgery. My hips are beat up. I don't have a flare anymore. But when the puck's from far out, especially on these dot, dot angles and higher, I want to get my knees tight. I don't want to be flared on those angles for numerous reasons. So if I'm on this dot line, okay, I'm on the dot here. If I don't have a tight butterfly, then I can't shift into pucks up top and I do become a passer off my pad to the slot. Teams will send in guys in this area, shoot pad. If I have a wide flare on this dot, steep angle, look at how many holes open up now. I can't get into this puck up top. I am now a passer to the slot, so I need to have my knees tight in my butterfly. The only time we want to be more flared, and like I said before, is if the puck is around, say right here, and we want to get a little bit wider with our legs, then do so. But other than that, Let's work on our tight butterfly, pulling our knees together, a little bit over top of my hips, over top of my kneecaps, so I can see pucks. I can move into saves if I have to. I can extend. If you want to have a good butterfly, do all these little things that I just talked about and practice it on a daily basis. Don't take your butterfly for granted. There's too many young kids that have bad butterflies that are playing at a decently high level. And once you get older, it's not gonna work. So take care of this now, work on your butterfly, work on the details, and we'll see you in the next video.